Hello everyone. Welcome to my this week's weekend special. For this weekend special, I want to build this object. This object has a middle cylinder and two archways crossing each other. This is symmetrical in both axes. So in the longitudinal axis, this is symmetrical. In the transverse axis, it's symmetrical as well. I want to build this object in part and I want to use this symmetry in my advantage. So I will be building only one fourth of this object and then mirror them twice to, to achieve this whole picture. And that's one of the reason why I want to build this object in part. In part design, I cannot mirror twice. In part I can. And that's the main reason for this one to go with part workbench. So let's get started. Since this doesn't have any plan uh, embedded on this image, I cannot use that in my advantage only to look at it. As I said, I want to build this bottom up, but only on the corner, one corner. So XY plane, that's where I want to build it. And my first sketch would be building this pad. And one more thing, I will be following best practices to avoid topological naming issue for this model. So I'll be using datum plane or using planes and then pushing them here and there throughout the object. So these are some extra steps I want to take to stabilize my model and, and build a better model. Having said that, what are of the project it's a rectangular pad. The length of this would be 200 over 2. Okay. And the height would be 120 divided by 2. Okay. Let me take the corner rounded I'm using constraint preserving sketch fillet that way I don't have to keep these dimensions second time this corner is 15 millimeter in radius so 15 okay. and there should be a hole in this corner but because I'll be using best practices throughout the model building, I want to see how stable this model is. So I'll come back to include that hole at the end of the model building. And if it breaks down, it should not. Okay, let's put it that way. It should not break down the model. I want to build this pad up by 15 millimeter okay at the center of this pad this is the center there will be a cylinder I want to draw that cylinder on this face so in the everyday practice I would click on this and draw a sketch attached to this plain face which I'll not be doing this time I want to build a sketch on the XY plane and then offset it by 15. That's the pad height. And on this one in the middle, it will be a cylindrical shape, quarter of it. And I can do that by making two arcs in this corner the radius of this arc 
the inner side actually let me connect these two okay it's given diameter as 55 so radius would be 55 over 2 and the outside one is given radius as 35 so radius is 35 and I want to build this one up the height of that cylinder is given as 90 millimeter from the pad height so 90 above the height now remember the best practices for this pad what I did is 15 millimeter now if I go there and then change this to 20 this pad doesn't affect it is not affected but it's not 90 millimeter anymore I want to address that one by coming in here and the position 15 I want to formula it as say extrude so that's the name here and then so it would be length forward okay remember here it said length forward is 15 millimeter and that's we keyed that in on here so now if i go make it 20 everything moves 20. if i go 10 this cylinder moves pipe below as well and that's to make it full parametric throughout the process we build the cylinder now on the longitudinal side on the long side we have to build this archway and i want to build that on this face so this face i want to build another sketch for this long archway which is 50 millimeter short than the pad so 25 millimeter on this side 25 millimeter on this side i want to draw a sketch on yz plane which is 25 millimeter away from this face the total length is 100 so 75 millimeter from this edge so yz plane it would be 100 minus 25 okay so here i want to build this sketch on here okay and i want to pull in i don't have to pull in that geometry maybe this one This one would be vertical as well. These two coincident and posted on this line. Don't think. Okay. Um, the radius, the inner radius is 15 millimeter. The inner radius is 15. The outer radius is 25 and what else this height of this wall is 55 so this length is 55 okay that looks pretty weird these two will be tangential okay that constrains it this one I have to push all the way through and I'm going to push it all the way through such a way that it cuts through this cylindrical part. And we will find out how much length it takes. For now, let's say 100 in the reverse direction. Okay. Close. Oh, I pressed apply twice. 
okay these two i want to connect with this connect pipe tool and that looks beautiful we will do the same thing on this face okay on this one i want to draw that sketch on this face but away from the face by so the total length the total width of the pad is 120 the total length of this archway is 105 so 15 millimeter short 7.5 millimeter on each side so this total length was 60 we will have to build it on xz plane okay xz plane and offset would be let's say 60 minus 15 over 2 yeah okay that makes sense on this one let's take this geometry and let's draw in like similar to the ones that we just did okay so these two would be coincident to each other and this one would be on this line let's make this tangential this one to that one okay and the radius of this short one is given as 12 and this radius of the outer one is given as 20 what else are we missing degree of oh the height of this wall is given as 42 millimeter that's it um I want to extrude that wall by say 50 okay and connect these two using join objects tool that tool makes things a lot easier I'm going to say that's basically it we have this pad and we have the connect now we will have to we have to do is make two i want to name this extrude as base pad because i know that i'll be coming back to it to sketch base pad okay these two we want to make it a union maybe I should refine it right now okay now take the fusion we'll do it mirror it yz plane one time and take these two make it fusion okay and this fusion we will mirror it again with xz plane all right we just built our object and let's make it true okay so 98 percent of our object is built that's what it is it was easy now i want to go back and then make those holes in the pad i don't want to do it separately i want to go and build it in that that pad so i want to find it out here base pad because we used best practices best recommended practices in building the sketch and uh, not on the face of this pad but on a on a standalone plane I want to I want to edit this pad right now once everything is done this model should not break the topological naming problem should not come here so I am confident about it let's give it a try on here I want to add a hole 
of diameter fifteen. Diameter of this hole is fifteen. Okay. Yeah. No issue. So that's how you handle topological naming issue. Do not draw any sketch on any of the planes directly. Add a surface. On the part design, it would be datum plane. On part, we can we can offset our planes based on the calculations. Say I want to change the thickness to 20. No problem. Pipe. No problem as well. Let's take it back to 15. So this is full parametric. I hope you enjoyed this process. This model was not as complex to build but it looks complex um, it was the mirroring option that made things easier for us well that's it for today i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time bye